Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, I just wanted to show you a quick video on this uh, Mercedes-Benz C-Class, which has the airbag light showing on the dashboard there. It also has the glow plug light, but don't worry about the glow plug light in this video. Uh, we're just focusing on the airbag light. And I really wanted to show you um, what basically happens when you try to reset a fault and you haven't actually fixed the fault. So um, in this particular case, we, there's a fault with the airbag light and we're gonna use this tool to show you um, what happens. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because we kind of get a lot of uh, people buying these tools expecting them to be some sort of like magic pill in that if you've got a warning light they kind of just expect that these tools will just turn off the warning light no matter what uh, it's not always the case it can happen sometimes it can be the case because um, say for example that the fault might be like an intermittent fault so it might have happened once and then it's kind of reset itself on its own um, but in most cases if you get a fault a warning light like this you do need to do a repair and a replacement of a certain uh, part or component so um, I'm just going to go through the motions of selecting our vehicle here and I'm not, I'm not exactly sure which one it is. Um, I'm going to click this one here, let's click OK. And we're going to go to the control, we're going to go to the airbag system. So find the airbag system. SRS supplemental restraint system so we click OK on that it's initializing so we're going to get the fault codes so this is the fault codes that we're getting belt buckle driver has a malfunction there's an open circuit and that's just a historic one about the power because the, the battery has died and come back on a few times so that's really the fault code that we're looking at um, and we believe it just to be a problem with the belt buckle it needs to be replaced uh, but we haven't done that yet we haven't fixed anything on this vehicle so what we're going to do now is go into clear fault memory and see what it actually gives us see what it allows us to do uh, so we're going to click OK to that so it says erase operation done we'll click escape now you may have saw the airbag light turn off there, but you can see it's come straight back on. So the tool has attempted to do all it can. All it can do is say to the ECU, yep, we're gonna try and reset this. And if the ECU is happy that the fault has been cleared, then the ECU will keep the warning light off. But in this case, the ECU has turned around and said, well, I'm not very happy about this. The fault still isn't fixed, so I'm gonna put the airbag light straight back on. Um, we'll go back into read fault code to see what it gives us. So it's still giving us that fault code um, And we can do the same again. Watch it'll turn off and then it'll probably come back on There we go. It's come back on because it's not happy that the fault has uh, been fixed It's telling us it hasn't been fixed. So um, that's basically what will happen if you generally try to erase a fault code and you haven't actually physically fixed anything. So in this case, we just need to replace like the, the buckle where the seatbelt goes into. It has like a sensor and um, the, it, it, it's faulty basically. So we need to replace that and then we can come back in, clear the fault memory and we'll be able to get rid of that airbag light. But until then, it'll stay on. And that's how diagnostics works. Um, like I say, you might get a, a situation where you get like a check engine light um, and that you can turn that off, but it might it might come on, you know, six weeks later down the line if it's an intermittent fault. Um, you may, you probably will eventually have to change something, even if it's an intermittent fault, because if it's happened once, it'll probably start happening a few times. But uh, there we go. That's that's basically an answer as to why the warning light won't turn off, won't erase, even though you've tried it with one of these tools. Uh, but if you are interested in one of these tools, then I'd recommend uh, I'll put the link in the description below this video. It'll take you direct to the website where you can buy the genuine and official products. There are fakes, there are clones on the market. We don't. Re we recommend you completely stay away from those because they will give out incorrect information and they definitely won't reset the warning light. Okay, thanks for watching guys and I hope this helps.